What's the deal? It's the boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV back again with the, the notorious B.I.G. Breakdown. Um, I was kind of waiting to do this video. I know I shouldn't have waited, but hey, man, it's always a time to start. All right? It's never too late for anything. Hope y'all understand that. Now, I was very, very amazed when doing this video, and I kind of always knew that Big was down with them boys, man. He was, And he, y'all, by the time y'all see the end of this video, you're going to stand here. Every celebrity's down with him. And I'm going to do my job to expose every last single one of you rat bastard motherfuckers, especially Big. And Big's one of my favorite ones. I can rap plenty of his lyrics off the top of my head. Um, I know y'all want to hear none of that shit. We'll save it for the next time I go live. Make sure y'all tune in, in my lives and everything else as well. But Big put on for the Fat Brothers. I kind of knew by how ugly he was, but he was so famous that he was on. Now... What the fuck is he wearing? What the fuck was he wearing in the 90s? <laughs> I, you know, I had his picture up here. Them baggy ass pants. That's why I think he probably was wearing a suit. Who knows if this is even the right person? Probably wearing a suit, but, you know, that was back in the 90s, man. People was dressing crazy. And, uh, but Big had a crazy. Anytime you see these guys when they get become legendary or they become uh, lifetime people, that well, they, their, their names are spread throughout history. That's how you, that's one key identification that they're down. All the greats, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, James Brown, um, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, all of them niggas sold out. Every last single one of them. There's not one that has not done it. Now, Big was actually one of my favorite rappers. I'm not going to lie. Top five. All right. And I really hate that he had such a short career because who knows what he could have done. But people understand when you're part of this game and you want to branch off, you got to always pay homage to the guys above you. Big was a pawn. He was Diddy's pawn. And uh, one of the security guards came out and said that it was Puff Daddy and uh, Jay-Z that wanted Big dead. I was offered $30,000 to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls. March 1st. Of 1997 I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit on one of his artists finding out that he wanted all the rights to all his catalogs I turned him down because I also found out that very night that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Biggie should have never been in California to prom promote an album with a broken fibula bone who can barely walk. To go to another studio when Diddy has his own studio in New York. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty disposition. He treats everybody like crap. Every single employee he's ever had. So that dude now there's no telling if his word is 100 correct but he seems legitimate his name is uncle ron check him out on youtube he has videos streaming all across tiktok but uh diddy was did biggie was diddy's pawn and biggie wanted to leave and you know once you are trying to leave these guys you know soldier sold to him it's nothing but death after that you know what i'm saying i do believe biggie was dead i don't but i Somebody said that Biggie and Mace is the same person. I have no idea how true that is because they had the same exact smile. But Biggie, Biggie did all the same symbolism as everybody else, which shows that he was tied to them boys. And uh, right here is when he's doing the well-placed hand of the Freemason right there. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just caught that while making this video, so I didn't go back and add other little stuff. But uh, we'll talk about other his Freemason hand gestures later but uh big was really really down them boys and he lost his life because he tried to go against the person above him he should have just stayed upon they're probably gonna sacrifice him no matter what he did no matter what and this video is really hard to make because big is really hard to look at but he put a lot he put on for a lot of the big guys big state and some pussy man but those bitches were probably given to him now the first part of the breakdown i want to start is the crown 
I never dived in on why Biggie always had pictures of him wearing a crown. And he's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like one of his most famous pictures of him always wearing the crown. And I also noticed a lot of other celebrities wearing the crown. I'm like, I guarantee you this crown symbolizes something. And uh, lo and behold, it does. All right. So the main photo that comes to everybody in mind of Big when he wears a crown is this one. Uh, I, the other one I'm pretty sure was taken on the same day or probably just flipped. But this is the main one that comes to everybody in mind. This photo was actually used in the Luke Cage uh, movie or the TV show uh, that was in the background and stuff. He talked about it. But it's one of the most famous ones. As you can see, he has the red background. And we're going to get to many other celebrities that have rocked the red, the, not the red, well, the red room, but have also wore the crown, okay? So now let's get into what it symbolizes. Now, I got this information off here, brotherjohnsite.org. This man is very smart. I trust his word. I went through his whole website. A lot of good information. Check this website out. I will have it linked or pinned somewhere. I don't know how to do it for <laughs> this video. But make sure y'all check it out man uh brother john so i just type it in that way it come up a lot of good information but this is where i get all this information from off his website okay now starting off let's talk about what uh let's talk about some stuff that i got on his website it says jesus forewarned false messiahs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders to lead astray if possible even act even the elect matthew 24 24 and uh, probably one of my favorite books in the bible the book of matthews as we stated previously some have used this symbol unwittingly, while others have deliberately introduced this symbol in order to, to subvert and politicize biblical Christianity into false apostate worship. OK, so basically what he's saying is people have used this um, symbol of the crown and the cross on, uh, and, and pretty much in a negative light. All right. Now, let's dive into other parts of this article and break down what the cross and the crown symbolizes. OK, as you see right there, you see the crown, the cross, Masonic cross and crown. Um the cross and the crown symbolize, you know, its origins. All right. You see right there is that red cross, that same red cross the Ku Klux Klan used, the same rocks that the Knights of Templars use. All right. So we got to start keeping and peeping game on the red cross. OK, now let's look into this right here. It says many have quickly embraced these symbols, only seeing a cross and a crown and assume that these must be in honor of Christ. Many who desire to be identified as Christian disciples use these symbols as depicted in the illustration as a cover photo on their Facebook pages without fully knowing their origin. Masonic and Eastern Star Symbols by Ray Denslow. One Masonic symbol that appears to be Christian is the cross and the crown emblem. However, this is not the case. Masonic author Ray Denslow reveals the cross and crown may be said to be confined almost exclusively to the historical degrees in masonry as exemplified in the various orders of knighthood of York and Scottish rites. The Gaul, 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 <laughs> we found the cross to have been a solar symbol when it had equal arms and angles. The fee notions, <laughs> it was an instrument of sacrifice to their god Baal and to the Egyptians, the Cruce Ansatus, was his symbol of eternal life. All right. So it's pretty much depicting to where the cross came from in this little article right here. So the Phoenicians, it was an instrument of sacrifice to their god Baal. They worshiped Baal, basically aka Moloch. And the Egyptians used the cross and Sata was his life, was a symbol of eternal life. All right. And the crown sometimes can either it symbolizes life, life and death. All right. In the Masonic report, we find more about this emblem. Questions. What does masonry emblem of the cross and crown actually symbolize? Answer. The cross of Freemasonry is a philosophical cross, according to Albert Pike, Morals and Dogma, page 771. It is a philosophical in the sense that it represents the generating fecundating principle by perpendicular shaft and the matrix of the womb of nature, the female pursuing principle. By the horizontal shaft, the philosophy of the Masonic cross is totally phallic. Basically, its only meaning is just a dick. <laughs> basically, phallic, dick, okay? Basically, so the cross, basically just showing a dick. When it's the onk, the onk symbol, it shows a womb. So it's like a, pe like a, a, a straight-up phallic symbol going into a womb, all right? A similar shell game is played with the word sign. The sign Constantine refer to was not a Christian cross, but a kind of X, which both Christians and pagans association. In modern magic, it is a sign of the slain, risen Egyptian god Osiris. Another version of the slain and rising is Haram Abif. Again, masonry has downgraded Jesus and replaced him with its own Christ.
Two other groups, both with Masonic connections, used the cross and crown. Charles Taz Russell was a Mason who started the, the Jehovah's Witness. So Jehovah's Witnesses were started by Masons. He used the red cross and other distinctive features of the Knights of Templars logo. That's crazy. I ain't know that. I ain't know the Jehovah's Witness was started by a Mason. Y'all see that right there? This is the Watchtower. I had an aunt who was a, a Jehovah's Witness. I remember always getting the Watchtower books and reading them. And they all the Watchtower books are full of symbolism. Murano hand sign, which we're gonna be talking about later. Um, is gonna be it has the 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 red it has so much symbolism on the watchtower, the remote tower of books, and it makes sense now why they had so much symbolism because they were made by Freemasons. This is a photo of an early watchtower magazine cover. The two magnified areas on the right at the top show a cross and crown emblem on one side and a non-Christian knight figure on the opposite side. The crosses on the tower are magnified simply to show that the watchtower society at one time taught that Jesus died on the cross. See, Jesus was crucified upon a cross. Life 1929, page 216. And the cross of Christ is the greatest pivotal truth of the divine arrangement, from which radiate the hopes of men. The Harper of God, Ruther for page 141. For over 50 years, Watchtower used the cross and taught that Jesus died on the cross. Since this time, the Watchtower makes a claim that Jesus died on a stake and that the cross is a pagan, ideological symbol. These claims are unfound. The enormous pyramid marker at his grave site. This is the guy, Joseph Rutherford, the guy who made the Watchtower that was put there by Joseph Rutherford, Russell's successor and president of the Watchtower organization. The pyramid is not Russell's grave or gravestone, though it was put there as a tribute to him. So this guy who helped create the Watchtower, who was a Freemason, um, when he or the, create the Jehovah's Witnesses and put out the Watchtower, he was a Freemason. And when he died, they put a pyramid on his grave with the Watchtower um cross and crown symbolism now this is the tribute to the guy who created the jehovah's witness this guy here says risen with christ you see it has that crown and uh cross symbolism on it right now these guys were all it's like i said the basically what i'm trying to get you guys is understanding that when y'all see this crown is for the masonic origins all right now we started getting diving into big understanding about notorious he was a part of the mason so the, most of these rappers are part of that brotherhood the one-eyed religion all right and that's what we always see all right and i have another part i want to read to you and then we're going to get back to uh, we're going to go into the rappers all right a former mason also explains the other york right jury you may see is the timbler symbol it is a large maltese cross with a circle in the center inside the circle is a red latin cross Within a, circle, within a crown. Around the arms of the cross is the command model and hoax signals Venice in this sign, in this sign conquer. All right. So basically, whenever you see the Knights of Templars symbol, you are seeing a cross and a crown. All right. And the Knights of Templars, we already know they were worshiping Baphomet. All right. And here is that uh, signal we was talking about. Uh, and conquer, I forgot what I just read. <laughs> conquer something, that's what that, that's what that means, right? So when you see that, that's all you know about the crown. That's why we have so many rappers wearing the crown and so many different celebrities. And the reason why I want to zoom in on this one, you see that dude sitting down, he's throwing up devil horns, right? I don't know who these dudes are. I really don't. But the crown is, is, a, is another symbolism for, you know, um, basically royalty. It's, um, and he said the crown and other head covers are seen as a symbol of victory like garlands or a wreath. The crown represents perfection and eternal life. The crown unites the spiritual world with the material world where the sovereign can receive divine inspiration to rule justly. So basically they're saying they're using this crown to get uh, help from the spirit, whereas it's, it's a connection. Who's know what spirit they're getting in contact with? But since all these rappers are part of the brotherhood and we always see them take pictures with crowns, I see little Nas X and stuff like that, they literally go to elude or make the educated assumption that these guys are all part of something. And look at this guy. That's another Mason hand gesture. That hand over the face. All these dudes are part of the brotherhood. That's why they're wearing the crown. The, the crown is a Masonic symbol, all right? It's one of the Masonic symbols. Look at Kendrick Lamar. I broke him down. I did several videos on him masonic symbol all right that's exactly what it is and that's why he's every time you see these rappers do it they all do the same not even just rappers all the celebrities all the politicians everybody does the same symbols because everybody's part of the same secret society it's one huge secret society that we are all kept out of as the humans well not humans well we are humans but the regular people out here is what i'm talking about i always see so many different ones wear the same and do the same thing and it always baffles me why y'all see him wearing the crown is everybody going to be a king you know what i'm saying but it's just not the fact that this king is just that these people are letting you guys know we're part of the brotherhood and every last single one of these guys i've shown i have other photos with more proof that they are clearly part of something if not we can't elude the word freemason we don't want to use that word 
Leslie say that part of something. As including with Big, and as but we continue with this breakdown, we're going to know that by the end of it, Big was no doubt he one of them boys, and he just wasn't a nice, talented rapper who upgrew and he joined the ranks. All right, this is not not joined the ranks. He's just a nice, talented rapper that Diddy found. All these stories they leave out the main detail, and the main detail is that these guys are in some type of brotherhood and they got help from evil deities and equal secret and they did rituals they leave all that stuff out they're trying to make it seem like these dudes just rap really good and they's upbringing oh man just, it just happened as a miracle no now this is another piece that i found and uh, i might be just doing a little bit of reaching on this but this is one of the famous pictures that he has and when you zoom in on this picture you see the upside down star all right and you see this a lot and it's right there beside his name see the notorious big Right there, you see right beside his name, he's got the Baphomet star or the Eastern star or the Freemasonic star. And I could be reaching with this, but I don't personally think I am because I do think that they purposely put all this stuff out in plain sight. And they wanted to find this stuff. They wanted to see this stuff. They wanted to learn about it. They wanted to see everything about it. Now, you see right here, you have the uh, Eastern star symbolism right there. It's the same exact star that was seen beside his name. All right. But like I said, I could be reaching with that. Maybe it was just misplaced, but I highly doubt it. When you got these guys here, they do their symbolisms and everywhere. They are constantly always advertising for the guys they work for, for their puppet masters, for their puppeteers. And Big was no, no matter how legendary he was, he's no different. All right. He was part of the brotherhood. All right. And uh, now let's move forward to some more hand signs that I've seen from him. Now, this hand sign, some people might think is innocent, but it's not. This right here is a action. When you see the two thumbs like that and their hands are intertwined like that, these guys, that's one of their hand signs. Now, do I know the name of it? No. But I've seen it way too many times not to conclude that it means something. Way too many times from way too many known well Freemasons. And every rapper does it. And if you're a guy who wants to go out there and be a rapper, just understand you're going to have to join the Brotherhood. Now, look how many different rappers have taken pictures with their thumbs like this. It makes no sense. And it just... It just baffles me that people will sit. They're not keeping up. That's all the issue is. People are not keeping up. People are not going through, looking around through it. And they're not just putting enough energy in it. And that's why you need people like me who has no time on their hand. And uh, they actually go in and put the time and effort to gather all these photos of all these Masonic brothers. All these guys are part of their brotherhood. Every last single one of them. You know what I'm saying? And that's why with so many rappers and famous people who take pictures with their hands in the trunk like this. Even Nick Cannon. Ask yourself, why is Nick Cannon still relevant to this day he's a good he's a goody two-shoes boy that's why you got to follow the rules and they want guys following the rules ti and most people don't take pictures like this the average person doesn't and when i seen big doing that it already let me know and i don't know how many people that we're in but y'all kind of starting to catch the drift that there's a lot of people who have taken pictures like this with their, their thumb in their hands like that all right even the game i didn't even think the game got down but yeah when they, they take these pictures on purpose Right, they take it on purpose, letting the world know. Because I said earlier, they gotta constantly advertise who their puppet master is. Even Kodak Black, Kodak Black is probably one of the biggest puppets of all time. And I'll be working on his, his um, I will try to have his breakdown out sooner or later. All right, I'll try to have it out soon, but I want to have it out at least by April. Uh, we see this guy here, Michael K. Williams. He was sacrificing. He's another one of those now, guys. Now you see John Jock right here. He's doing the time wearing ass niggas. Another way. And I just showed y'all. Same thing. And Jock is down with. Seventy, eighty people. You know what I'm saying? It probably but yeah, don't let this stuff slide. Y'all got to start peeping the symbolism when y'all see this stuff and y'all get a good view of it. Start peeping it and seeing that hey, this is the symbolism that these people are doing. You know what I'm saying? These are just these. All these guys are part of some type of secret society, and just. Keep note and make a, a, a detailed note in your brain when y'all see it. But I guarantee you, every celebrity is part of it. You can't be in Hollywood and making this type of money if you're not part of the brotherhood. That's why you see everybody taking the same photo. I just showed you too many rappers in a row. Now, doing this right here, this is some of the stuff that I like to find, the key details. Big is actually standing between the two twin pillars in here. All right, the two twin pillars where, you know, he is supposed to represent, you know, the world tower, the, the twin towers. Basically, he had a lyric where he said, blow at the world trade. But it's basically the twin pillars that are in every Masonic, lo Masonic Lodge. And that's why I like doing these videos because I come across hidden gems like this. This is actually a hidden gem. I've never seen this photo of Big. And when I seen it, I automatically knew what it was. Now let's get to the twin pillars. All right. It's where the... Um, Boaz and Joaquin were two copper, brass, or bronze pillars which stood on the porch of Solomon's temple, the first temple in Jerusalem. They are used as symbols in Freemasonry and sometimes in religious architecture. And these twin pillars are in every 
every Masonic Lodge. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's look back at Big's photo again, and I'm going to show y'all the image and show y'all how they look very similar. They're just not that tall, but you look at, look how they're structured. Just look at them. Look how they're structured. Look how they look. You can tell that it's a twin privilege standing, standing in between. I guarantee the floor he's on is probably a checkerboard print pattern. But let's show you a few images of how they look. Look exact. They look exactly like the twin pillars in most Freemasonic art and Freemasonic architecture and Freemasonic everything. Pretty much is the same exact ones. Look at that. All, every, every one of them looks like this. And when I seen that picture with Big, I said, oh, yeah, I got another another thing I can point out because I don't feel like I'm reaching on this one. You know, sometimes I feel like, hey, I may be reaching, but I don't feel like I'm reaching for him to be standing between those two pillars, between the B, the G. And look, B, I, G. Freemason, they have a G in the middle of the Freemasons, um, of the, their logos. But look at those pillars. Now, they look exactly, almost damn near identical as to the ones Big was standing in between. Those right there look like some type of, and look, they're even different. <laughs> Both of them are different. You know what I'm saying? The Joaquin and Boaz, the, the pillars usually have something different on them, and they're holding up the B and the G. You know what I'm saying? And the G is a seven letter in the alphabet. You know what I mean? So there is one of the key ones I've wanted to point out with Big. Like I said Big has been leading the paper trail for a long time, and I'm glad I was able to catch this one. Now let's go into his magazine covers where he does mad symbolism on a lot of these different magazine covers. Before I get in there, I got to find some shit I just went through. Here's Coolio where he was taking the picture between the twin pillars with white and black and on the red pyramid. and uh, Not pyramid, the red base. And uh, I also found this while going through my photos. You see Dr. Dre doing the same hand signs that I pointed out earlier. It's damn near identical to the same one Big was doing. And Dr. Dre was in the same era as Big. So I'm telling y'all, y'all got to peep game these hand signs, man. People just not doing putting their hands like this and taking the picture. These guys are all part of the brotherhood, including Dr. Dre. Now, I'm going to end it right here for a brief second. I will make sure I edit this part out when I make the full video. Or I might not, but um, it's gonna be part one. I got to get back to work. <laughs> Try to record as much as I could today for y'all. Uh, we just got We got a lot more to talk about, a lot more to go over with Big and his uh, magazine covers and his and his Masonic symbolism. All right, y'all be blessed. I'll be safe. I'm out. So welcome back to part two, where we're gonna pick up where we left off. Part two, we're gonna be talking about this segment where Big uh, did a lot of magazine covers and did a lot of symbolism on a lot of these covers. You know what I'm saying? Big was, uh, like I said, we're gonna be breaking down all the symbolism that Big did throughout his career and uh, let y'all know that, hey, Big was down the boys. We haven't even got to the juicy part yet, but we gotta set the foundation so we can know you know, what we're gonna be looking forward to in, uh, in the later future, in the later videos on Big. But yeah, most definitely Big was, is down with them boys. Now this little hand gesture here, see how Buddy got his chin? I used to always just think that was just a regular pose, man. Come to find out it is tied to them boys, tied to the brotherhood. And I think everybody around Big, including him, have taken pictures like this. You know, so I don't know who that dude in the back is. I don't know if that's Little C's. I don't know who that dude is. But uh, you see right there, he's he's taking the he's doing the hand of the mason. I forgot what it's called, the actual, actual name. But y'all going to see what I'm talking about. Now, look at B.I.G. on the front of this magazine. It looks just like a regular pose. It's not a regular pose. All the guys in the Brotherhood takes pictures like that. All of them. When we go take, I don't know. We don't really take that many pictures, but for some reason, uh, all the famous people seem to do it. And uh, most of these people have ties to being part of the Brotherhood, and Big is no different. You know what I'm saying? They have plenty of these photos around where you see these celebrities who show that they are part of the Brotherhood, they're part of these uh, secret societies, just by keeping up with the symbolism. I'm about to show you guys a few other people who took similar photos like Big. I don't know who this bald head dude is, but he's wearing the crown, as you can see, that we talked about on part one. You got Coolio, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Money Man. Look, the hand is, certain, is, is, is turned a certain way. The thumb and the finger are turned a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You got this dude, his name Anthony Quinn. He sacrificed his kid. His kid drowned at like two years old. Uh, I, I don't know who this dude is. I think this is Tank. Tank is another one. You know what I mean? Now look at this dude here. Um, and the lead chopper. You see him doing the same gesture. See how the thumb and the finger is? All these guys are part of the brotherhood. Look at Jay-Z and Zaytoven. You know what I'm saying? Every last single one of these guys are down in the brotherhood. 